Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today it's gonna be a vlog in which I will show you my today's training and tell you a little bit about it and I will also show you what I'm gonna eat throughout the day. So if you want to know more about that then please keep watching. Before we start though I wanted to say a few words about why I haven't been filming recently. I needed a short break from filming and editing and all the social media. That's something I occasionally need not necessarily in a bad way. I'm doing great. I feel amazing. However, I am a highly sensitive person. I think that's what you also call an empath. And I tend to pick up a lot of energy around me from people and also all over the social networks. And I'm really working hard not to let negativity uh, influence me. However, I can't always help it. And sometimes I notice that all the negative energy starts accumulating in me and that's always the time when I take a step back so that I can let go, so that I can energize again with the good vibes so that when I come back in front of the camera that I can spread positivity because that's what I want to do. I want to spread great vibes with you, positive energy so that whenever you watch my videos that you feel great. That's basically the purpose of this channel. And that's why I haven't been filming. I took a few days off uh, over Easter and then the following week we had here friends. Our neighbors came with their kids. They are wonderful people and we had such a great time. Then I also met my friend Lena and her doggy Mia. So Hercules had a date. We went out in the woods and we've been walking four hours. And as usual, we completely forgot the time that always happens when we meet because it's always such a nice time. And I really like Lena and her doggy. And Hercules likes Mia too. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been walking a lot outside with Hercules and I've been reading a lot and just chilling, sometimes basically doing nothing. And that was exactly what I needed. So, and now I will warm up first as usual and then I will be stretching for a while. And when I'm gonna be done, I will finally start practicing on my pole. My last pole dance training was, I think, last July. That's been way too long. My pole has been very lonely. And that's something I really have to do because I've been talking about practicing pole dance again for a while. And I have to admit, I've been procrastinating. The thing is, I have a very strong fear of heights, which is not always logical. So you might find me somewhere hiking in the mountains, having fun, being very high up, looking down, not being scared at all. And then I visit my parents, look down from the balcony and I start sweating and almost pooping my pants. I mean, not literally, but sweating a lot and feeling dizzy and scared. And the same goes for the pole, especially with the inverts. So as long as my head is up when I'm climbing up, it's fine. But there are some tricks that really scare me and there are some things that are really more difficult for me than for the average person, which has been always very frustrating. However, when I started with Poland, I made quite a quick progress. I reached a certain level and beyond that level, it got really difficult for me, but there were a few tricks that I could do and I'm fine with that. I don't have to be the best Poland uh, like person, like pole dancer ever in the world. And if I will never be able to do all the tricks that there are, I don't care as long as I'm having fun, as long as I can dance and enjoy it and go to choreographic classes. However, I know that whenever I do not practice on the pole for a while, it throws me back so much that I'm basically at the beginning again. And that's super frustrating. And the worst thing to do is to procrastinate, of course. So today I kicked my butt so that I can start again because I need always a while when I don't uh, practice on a regular basis to get used to the pole again so that I feel secure and confident again. And that's very different sometimes. Sometimes I need like two or three trainings and I'm fine. Sometimes it needs even longer. So I can't tell how long it's going to take me now. But today I'm going to do the most important step, which is to start practicing on the pole. And that's what I'm going to do now.
I'm done with my training. It felt really good. I am actually very proud that I was even able to do a few tricks that really scare me. However, I could really tell that I do not feel secure as much as I used to feel. But it wasn't as bad as what I have expected after such a long time not training on the pole. The transitions were horrible and I'm pretty sure that there were some really weird toes that were not pointed at something where I'm really sloppy, but that's okay. I mean, it's a start and also I'm not a professional dancer. I'm doing it for me, so I don't mind if things are not perfect. For me, the most important thing is that I do it regularly, that I get better and that I get stronger and that I feel great. So I drank almost the whole glass of water as I usually do in the morning. So I have here again my crystals. And I have here my morning smoothie. I have this full glass and there's still a little bit of the smoothie in the blender. It's green this time because we started using also barley grass in our smoothie because it's so super good for you. So we have there bananas, barley grass, peanut butter, stevia sweetener, cinnamon and fresh ginger and it tastes amazing. Jack actually hates barley grass but he got used to it because he said I know it's good for me so I'm gonna give it a shot in a smoothie and that's the only way how he would drink barley grass but that's fine so this is my smoothie and I'm gonna take my smoothie with me to the bathroom because I sweat a lot and I need to shower all right guys so I took a shower and then I did the usual I put on makeup and got dressed I have already finished some work from home and I also made a few phone calls and now I prepared myself a lunch because I'm just about to go to the office. So I have here a tofu scramble. So usually I cook my tofu scramble with mushrooms but unfortunately we didn't have any at home which is a tragedy for me because I love mushrooms. So I had to put in a bell pepper. I picked um, a red bell pepper today. I just felt like eating a red bell pepper with it but I would have preferred mushrooms, to be honest. Anyway, yeah, so then that's the tofu scramble, and I have here also one chopped tomato, scallions, and a salad. So this is gonna be my lunch. I'm gonna eat this with tortillas. I have a few tortillas still at the office. And I also peeled a few carrots. Yes, I peeled a carrot, and I chopped them, and I'm gonna bring them in this small box. So these things are going to be my lunch. By the way, my hair is totally washed out and I have major roots. I need to take care of that. So this is what I'm going to do probably tomorrow. I feel like I look like a young grandmother when the hair is so grayish. But I kind of like it. What do you think? It's shortly after half past six. Hercules and I went for a walk after work. We came home about 15 minutes ago and I started cooking a broccoli soup. And the thing is, I'm just not that hungry today. I don't know why. I mean, I exercised for almost two hours, but I guess it's probably because I had my smoothie so late today and I had my lunch around four o'clock, which is very late. I usually have my lunch around one o'clock or something like that, the latest. I didn't even finish the carrots that I brought with me to the office, so I brought them back home and I'm gonna nibble on them in the evening when we are going to watch our show. And that's why I've decided to cook just soup. There is a baguette, a kind of a leftover baguette here. So I'm going to slice it and toast it. I'm gonna take like three or four small slices and eat it with my soup. I'm gonna take just a small bowl and then I will see how hungry I'm going to be. And here we have the broccoli cooking. There's also carrots and parsley and celery inside. By the way, even though it's 6.40, it's so bright outside. This is such a huge difference when you compare it with the winter months because I used to come home around 4 o'clock and it was already dark and it's just so nice that there is still light. It makes me feel so much better. I don't necessarily mind that it gets dark very early during winter because I find it kind of romantic and I like candles and all the lights that I use in winter like on our staircase it's very beautiful but after a while it kind of gets old and I was really looking forward to spring well I actually have to admit that I got hungrier than I thought I would so I have a larger bowl of soup and here are my three 
baguette slices and that's my dinner tonight. And that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to give the video a thumb up because it really helps the channel. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Don't forget to check out the description box. There is a lot of stuff listed there, including any discount codes, music, all of my Instagram accounts, my other channels, and some videos and playlists that might be interesting for you. And thank you so much for watching. I'm happy to be back. I love you guys so much, and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next video. Bye!